Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. And today I just wanted to talk about my process of designing a logo. So I'm going to go through the entire process of designing a logo that's part of a brand that I'm redesigning. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so that you can get kind of an insider look at how I do it and how my process works. So a few weeks ago, I did a video that was all about my three week branding process. And I'll link that up in the cards up here. And this is just going to be a little bit more of a detailed behind the scenes look at the logo design specifically. So in that video, I talked about my whole process of designing a brand from start to finish. And this is just going to be, like I said, a more detailed look at that first initial design part where I'm doing the logo, which is basically the foundation for the rest of the branding. So I'm so excited because I am collaborating with another YouTuber here, and her name is Tara. She has a channel that is all about motherhood and lifestyle and her kids and working from home. And that's totally up my alley. I love working with creative moms who are running their own businesses and helping them to create a visual identity that's holistic and really helps to grow their platform or their business. So I'm so excited to be helping her rebrand her channel now that her channel is starting to really get big. She has almost 30,000 subscribers and she's been on YouTube for less than a year, I think. So it's really exciting to be able to work with her and I'm just going to show you guys kind of a behind the scenes look at how I'm designing her logo. So so I'm going to jump over to my computer at my desk and show you guys my working process and how I'm kind of going through everything to design her logo. So let's go ahead and jump in and I hope you guys enjoy this. The first thing I always do is look for some fonts to play around with, and there are a ton of different places online that I like to find fonts, but Typekit from Adobe has a really great selection, and so I always just kind of browse through here, going off of what I figured out on the mood board and the sort of fonts that I want, and just download a few that I can play around with and edit into Photoshop and Illustrator. So here I'm just playing around in Photoshop first to get some ideas about the sort of layout and the general idea I want. And then I always take my designs over into Illustrator to vectorize them so that they're good um, for the client to use as a final file. So here I'm just kind of playing around with some different layouts and trying to decide how I want the logo to look in general. And this is always just a playing process where I spend a lot of time doing a ton of different things and then eventually I narrow it down to my favorite ideas that I really build out into a full brand.
So I ended up liking this sort of logo layout the best and so I went over into Illustrator and put it into Illustrator so that I could vectorize the font like I said earlier and just played around with finalizing all of the details and the fonts and kind of the layout of everything in Illustrator and then from here I can kind of do the submarks and the little alternate logos and everything like that. So you'll see that this is basically what I landed on in the end with that kind of diamond design on top and then the little submark under it and then I really liked the little taglines like new weekly videos and her information um, with the colored stripe behind it. So this is basically what I ended up with but you can kind of see me playing around with different versions until I really liked how everything looked and it matched the mood board and the whole vibe that we were going for. That was a little peek at how I designed a logo. I hope that you guys thought that was interesting, getting to see kind of my workflow and how I explore different ideas to finalize a logo that's basically the foundation for a really awesome brand. Like I said, I'm doing this rebrand for Tara Henderson here on YouTube. And once everything is finalized and her channel is all updated, then I'll make sure to share with you guys so that you can see the final product with the logo and all of the other branding that we come up with. And she She's going to be talking about it a little bit on her channel as well so I'll make sure to let you guys know when she does that so you can hear about the process from the perspective of a client or a customer who works with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and you thought it was interesting. I know I personally like to kind of peek in on how other artists do their work and just their design process and how they work through whatever they're creating. So I hope you guys thought that this was interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know in a comment down below what sort of things like this that you're interested in seeing. And I'll definitely film more of them in the future. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already. I've been putting out at least two videos a week that are either branding related or just creative living in general. So those are both things that you'll be able to find on my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Searching through a wonderland It was the age of wonder And the world had become too small to restrict